Kevin, firstly, thanks for the invitation today to uh, Norgen Precision Engineering. This is a fabulous machine shop you've got here. And your latest addition, or one of your latest additions, are the, the Hermely C400 and the C250 machines, aren't they? When did they come into the machine shop? The C400 was September 16, the 250 February 17. Just give us a little bit to start with about your relationship with Geo Kingsbury and why you first went down the, the Hermely route for your five axis machine solutions. Well, going back many years, I did my apprenticeship at George Kingsbury when it used to be a uh, machine shop. And then we, I bought my own company and we went over to start a mould work, which required a five axis machine. I knew George Kingsbury sold the Hermley range. I needed uh, an instant five axis machine to re uh, meet delivery requirements and Kingsbury had a C20 in stock, which we purchased uh, going back 10 years ago. And within six months, we purchased a further C20 they had in stock as well. Now the C20 is a slightly older model, it's now the C22 which is the high performance line. The machines we're looking at here are actually the performance line, the C400 and the C250. Uh, what, what in your opinion is the difference between the two machines or the two models, the high performance and the performance? For what our needs are, it's just purely the rapids. You get a faster rapid on the high performance line, but it's negligible for what we do. And when we talk about performance line here being uh, being not the high performance line, but the performance line. Some people might think it's an inf inferior machine, but that's not the case, is it? Because everything is, the, the casting's the same, the way the machine's built is the same, it's built in the same place. I've been to Hermley's numerous times, uh, seen the machines being built with the same components, the same bed casting, everything's the same, the control system as the high performance line. Now the reason they can obviously offer these at a more competitive price as well, specifically the machine we're looking at here and the 250, is because of the economies of scale. They're making more machines, so they're going to have a bigger target audience now with this range, aren't they? Very much so, very much so. And, and small players like myself come into the market more and more now. We're seeing that a lot more. Now you call yourself a small player, I find that very interesting because looking around this machine shop, it, 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 it says to me you invest in your business, you invest in the future and that's part of what you've done here with Geo Kingsbury, isn't it? Very much so, yeah. And, we, and we've built up a, a very, very good relationship with Geo Kingsbury over the 10 years that we've been purchasing Hermleys. Um, we get fantastic backup support, the service is second to none. Yep, yeah, can't rate them any higher. <laughs> now on this 400 now, show us this component, uh, Kevin, and tell us what, what you're doing with it, and is it just two ops on this machine? Yes. What sort of metal removal you're getting off, of, you know, from this machine? Uh, yes, it is two ops. Um, we, we gut out all the middle. The finishes aren't required for, uh, to a high level inside, but on the outside they are, and um, we really gut the middle out very fast, very fast high speed feeds, high speed spindle speeds. On the outside, um, it, it needs a, a very good finish. It's a pretty impressive component. What, what's the volume of these that you're making on this machine? At the moment, we're doing like 25 at a time every month. Okay, now what, what I'd also like to explore now is about this machine and the spec of it, because I had a quick look round. We had a conversation about tooling, the tool changer. Interestingly, you've got a, a bigger tool magazine on this machine, haven't you? What, why is that? The reason we, we went for the bigger uh, magazine is because we do a family of parts, aluminium parts, on this machine. And we like to keep the tooling in the machine, so our setup times are very quick. We use single point uh, setups, and we can change the part round in less than 20 minutes. So how many tools have you got? Is it over 80? 82, I believe. I think the machine comes standard with about 40, but you've almost doubled that. Exactly, yeah. And tell me about the actual spindle on this and the speed of it on this C400 and the C250. What comes as standard? 18,000 we've got spindle speed, which is the same as four of our other families. 18,000, so pretty fast. And something like this, you're not going to program at the control. I'm assuming you've got the assistance yeah. of a cam yeah, system. We've got Dell cam, well, Autodesk now, yeah. And we've used that for many years. How many machines in total now then from Kingsbury's have you got in here in your machine shop, Kevin? Six. Six machines. 
if you were based in Scotland and not just over the road, would you still be buying them? If I knew about them, 100%. 100%. They're not, I know we're down on the south coast, but I know that they've got uh, an office in the Midlands. They're all over the country, so yeah. And you've also told me today about the, how, how quickly your business is growing and how you need to remain competitive. Do you think that this gives you the edge amongst maybe other precision engineers that don't invest in this quality of five-axis machine? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah, the quality we get from these machines are excellent. Reliability, accuracy, very good accuracy. And, and the extreme good finishes that we achieve, especially when we're doing our mould work. We do a lot of work for the food industry. And uh, in previous years, if we had had... Um, a, a, an inferior machine would have had to send it out for polishing. Now they come off finished. Very, very good machines.